Flinders Research. Um, we can do anything. <laughs>Communications, education, culture, and nanotechnology, to name a few strong areas. The focus of Flinders research is organised into strategic areas in which Flinders invests heavily, including in a scheme designed by Deputy Vice Chancellor Research David Day to provide family friendly fellowships and backing for mid career and international researchers. Flinders collaborates vigorously with its neighbour, Flinders Medical Centre, and with governments, other universities, projects and bodies around the world. It works with industry and people from all walks of life. These ordinary mobile phones have got software that we've made. Flinders believes its research depends deeply on its relationships with its partners. The results are little short of spectacular. There's nanotechnology, where Flinders' world-class researchers are finding ways to apply molecular technology to disease, energy and forensics. There's Paul Gardner-Steven, who's working on a mobile phone that doesn't need a mobile network to make calls. Hello, Danny. Can you hear me? Flinders' maritime archaeologists are diving deep into wrecks to measure how fast they break down in water, so we can learn more from maritime history. Martin Westwell is busy helping educational authorities address severe shortages of science teachers, like Anita Trenworth. It all adds up to a great research environment that attracts many of the world's best scholars to inspire and be inspired by Flinders University.